Hello, my name is Martin Tully. I'm a sales engineer slash solutions architect here at Portnox. And today what we're going to do is continue our video series on conditional access for applications, uh, Portnox's new feature uh, that's been added in to Portnox Clear into your tenant. Um, and uh, what I want to do is showcase how to add an application in this particular video. So in the previous video, uh, what we did was we integrated in our identity provider service um, and what we did was we integrated it with Azure AD. Um, you can see here I do have other identity providers. One is Google and one is CyberArk. Uh, but in the previous video, we did it with Azure AD. But today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to add an application and use that identity provider as our authentication. So to do that in Portnock Clear, what you want to do is come here to Applications. Um, you see here I've already deployed some in my environment but all you have to do here is click add application you'll select add a new saml application um, once i do that you'll notice here that i have the ability to select any one of those identity providers that i've created already right you might just have one in this particular case i have multiple ones here um, you'd give the application name here uh, the application properties entity id uh, the associate consumer service which again which was something that we saw when we set up our identity provider, and as well as we have, right, again, the identity ID and the sign in URL uh, that is provided from within your tenant. All right, so that's what we'll have here. So, what we'll actually do here is <clears throat> we're going to go into our Gmail one and take a look at that from within here. <clears throat> so, for my Gmail application, I'm actually using CyberArk as my identity provider. I put in Gmail here as the name. And you can see here, I have some information, the entity URL, and again, the assertion consumer service uh, URL. And you can see I've already provided those that has been provided by Google. Um, and to get that from within your Google environment, all you have to do is come into your admin console, go into security. You'll see here SSO with third party IDP. Um, You'll come down here and you'll under third party SSO profiles. What you'll do is you will add a SAML profile. So if I click on that, you'll see here, it'll say SAML SSO profile. You'll give this a name um, and then you'll have an identity ID and a sign on sign in page URL. Um, and remember, this is what you can uh, put that in here, right? You'll say copy, add that here, uh, the sign in URL, copy this and put that there. Um, really all those two pieces that you need in this particular case. Um, then it says here, upload a certificate. That certificate you can get from me with the, from within here. Just hit download certificate and then upload that into Google um, and then hit save. Once you hit save here, uh, what you'll have here is uh, you'll see a uh, SAML profile uh, like you see here. I created one already. Uh, so Pornox IDP. And once you hit save, you'll have uh, these two other uh, entities that you can then put into your Portnox tenant. So in here, you can see here that I've added these two pieces here, the entity ID and the ACS URL, which I put in right here into the uh, Portnox application piece. So uh, I've got all the pieces that I need here. I have my sign-in, my um, SP entity URL. I have my ACS URL. Um, I've copied this information and put it into my Google application. Um, you can see here policy assignments. I have group-based or application-based. In this particular case, I am saying uh, group-based. Uh, if, uh, <clears throat> if the identity provider uh, like Google accept X, uh, can do XML, you can download this XML file and uh, it can basically pull in all that settings for you. Um, you can do that as well. But in this particular case, we did do it manual. So once we did that, <clears throat> you can see here, uh, we are done, we can hit save. Uh, back into Google, uh, you'll have to go come in here and um, assign this to a specific group, right? So I have my third party SSO, then I can basically assign that to a group from within here. So I'll manage my SSO profiles on who is going to get that profile. Um, and you can see here, basically I just have it for uh, specific groups or organizational unit um, <clears throat> and then you can also state, you know, domain specific URLs, so automatically direct your users to that third party IDP. So these are other settings that you can put in within Google. But in terms of what we've done inside Portnox, 
we are done here, right? We've put in it, everything here. Uh, as you, again, these two pieces that we got from Google, and these are two pieces that we added in to create that SAML profile from within Google. And that's it, right? So that's basically all I did to create that Gmail. Um, same thing for any other really application that you can add, you're gonna be able to find that, um, whether it's OpenVPN or within Okta, uh, these are other applications that I've used. But let's take a look and see how that works. So <clears throat> I'm gonna open up a virtual machine here. Um, inside my virtual machine, uh, you can see here I have uh, my Google Chrome, I'm gonna click on that. Uh, and I wanna go back one more time to my uh, Gmail application. Um, even though I have the, we, the last, in the last video, we did set up Azure AD, I'm actually gonna use CyberArk as an IDP this time and have I, uh, CyberArk authenticate me through. So I'll come in here, um, I will select Gmail. Here is the account that I'm using, which is the eDragon at Tully5. So one thing that you need to make sure uh, that you have on your um, device is the Portnox agent because the agent is going to do all the heavy lifting for you um, in terms of the user that it's looking for, right? The certificate that it creates. Um, and you can see here, I have a, uh, the agent has been deployed. Um, it is using this eDragon at tully5.com. Um, so there's a certificate in here with that specific name. So if I come in here to manage, manage user certificates and I go to my personal certificates, you can see here, there is that certificate that we're looking for. Um, you can also see from within here that my device is healthy. There's no problems going on here um, in this particular device. Uh, one of the nice things about the Portnox agent and using this SAML is that if this was in a risk violation, right, <clears throat> uh, the application would be blocked until the user could correct um, any issues that they're having on their device. But in this particular case, I'm good to go. Um, so I already have my certificate. I have my username here. I'm going to click on it. You can see here that it is verifying my uh, company's policy compliance. I can see that certificate that's been deployed. I hit okay. Once I hit okay, you can see it goes very quickly into CyberArk and it transitioned through and I quickly get in logged into my Gmail account. 